All right, it's Wesley with Expand to Craft once again. Now uh, we're going to uh, do another walk around on the uh, the pedal drive. Uh, we can show you that this one is a 16 foot nine inch boat. We we knocked the bows off and uh, threw it in the truck hole. We all of course you could take it all the way down, but here's my pedal drive. That uh, well, it's not my pedal drive in that I didn't design this one. I designed something very close to it. Um, this one has a, um, a a cable in a cable kind of drive. We'll see how that works. But I wanted to focus in on this end of the business. Now, to uh, to get this one to click up, well, this is the steering mechanism. You can see that you pull back and forth, and that makes the uh, propeller actually turn. So it's really good. What you can do is turn the propeller one way, pedal backwards, turn it the other way, pedal forwards, and just repeat that process when you're sitting still, and you can spin on its axis, kind of like on a kayak with a paddle. If you paddle forward on the left and backwards on the right, you can make it spin around on its own axis. Well, you can do that too because we got thrust vectoring here. And uh, of course, this whole thing kicks up. You just pull this latch. Well, ah, there we go. Pull the latch, and the whole thing comes up. And uh, this is probably one of the best shaped propellers that I've seen on any of the, uh, the kayak and propelling units. Uh, I get in this one from a fella in um, Canada that made it. A couple of things I'm going to change about that. Uh, this is a ferrous metal, so I'm going to get rid of that and put something that um, of course is not ferrous metal and I can already see that this part has bent because the positive latch if you hit the ground it bends that up apparently instead of flying free which it should do but that's kind of a design flaw I think uh, other than that the thing works really well um, I mean it doesn't require a lot of effort to make this boat move through the water quite nicely. Uh, we're going to have some uh, video of that going through the water that is. And uh, another thing I think I'm going to do is, if you'll notice here, the uh, the belt is, well the water goes around here and then the water goes around the belt. You didn't put the belt inside the shroud. So I think I'm going to make a little foil shape right here to go over that and quieten that down. It'll probably be more efficient as well. Anyway, um, this kit is available so you can buy and expand the craft from me and buy the pedal drive from the other fellow. We'll give contact name and everything. Uh, you can look it up. There's the uh, uh, H2 ProPed uh, is the name. And uh, it was a fairly easy adaptation. Uh, another thing is you'll notice I have this off on this long pole well, I did that because the cable within the, the tube was longer than I needed it to be. And I, there's no way to really to shorten it. So eh, I'm going to check with the manufacturer and see if I can get that at a specific length so that I can change that. Another thing I'm going to do is um, I just simply uh, put bolts down here with wing nuts underneath. So it's pretty quick to disassemble the whole thing. Uh, everything comes apart, of course. And uh, I'm going to make some kind of slider mechanism so that it can go forward and backward six or eight inches. Uh, right now, the seat moves forward and back instead of the pedal drive. So I might give some uh, thought to that and make the pedal drive and the seat adjust for uh, even more um, you know, options as far as how far you want to sit forward or back. All right, check us out, expandacraft.com.